Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plunge Detective, where I view, test, and demonstrate various VSTs. This is the Trumpet Fields. This is part of the Spitfire Audio Labs pack. I mean, the Spitfire Audio Labs just collection in general is one of the best out there. I'm giving this a full rating of 5 out of 5. Honestly, the best trumpet sound quality of any VST you can find. The only thing I'll say about this one is it's a lot more of an ambient style trumpet, similar to the choir that I reviewed. It's more. It's not like the trumpet stab that you might hear in an orchestra. It's more of this ambient, cinematic, subtle style trumpet, right? I think which is why it's called Trumpet Fields, and there's a bunch of settings as you hear. We have Bitten Bumblebee, which is a great name, all the way down to Slow Bending. So I'm just going to play them, and, you know, we can uh, check them out. So... So this one's a bit odd as a starting point. Then it's going to Bumblebee. I'm waiting to get to like a normal one. Let's scroll up. Uh, which is Bumblebee. So to go to Cautious Mute. I can just the parameters here, right? We've heard variations of under like do this. Or go all the way. I'm gonna go to Coast is Clear. Amazing sound quality. Again, more like, it almost kind of sounds like is if they tried to make it like a pad, almost. Then we have Coast Clear 3. Dirty Vibrato. <laughs> And this is one where the variation can kind of be kind of cool if I do like this. Actually, not too much, I guess. Double tonguing. Is it tonguing or tonguing? Tonguing, right? I think for any type of, like, almost military slash marching style music, this would be good for two. Then we have the floating vibrato. Nice and steady. Because if you notice the other ones have this kind of odd, it almost sounds like there's some kind of effect upon them. This one has now the actual like more traditional trumpet sound you're probably thinking of when you're looking for one. Nice and steady, too. Sails ho hoisted. Yeah, you can kind of hear that kind of muffleness, or like it sounds like someone's like uh, tonguing the trumpet in a certain way. So some of them. I do like for certain effects. I think the the nice and steady is more like again the most cl uh, classical traditional uh, tradi traditional can't talk to a style sound. But again, with that movement, it's kind of cool if I hit a C. Right, so that's why I think this would be kind of cool for like any type of cinematic record too. Oh, and then now going to choir. So that's because the trumpet fields, you know, being honest when it comes to these, a lot of these I probably wouldn't use besides the nice and steady. Although I think they're great quality and this really cool effect with them. Other than the nice and steady, when I picture, okay, I need a trumpet for a song, the nice and steady to me is the more traditional trumpet sound that's perfect for your songs. Bye -bye.